What's up, Michael here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to overlay text onto an image in Webflow. Before we hop into Webflow though, I'm quickly in Figma to show you the three different designs or layouts that we are going to be building. The first layout is gonna be a simple header section, one of the most popular designs on a website since it's at the top of almost every single web page. And then I'm gonna show you how another technique on how to align, or I mean not align, overlay text onto an image it looks similar to the header section, except we are using a slightly different technique. And then we are gonna be building on top of this second technique by aligning the text to the bottom corner. And I'll show you how you can align it to the top corner, um, where, wherever you want on the image, pretty much. Okay, so once you're in Webflow, what you're gonna to wanna to do is drop in a section. So go to the add panel, and then you'll see um, the section element, drop that in. And then we want to, within that section element, drop in a container. With the section selected, we're just gonna name this tutorial section. I already have 15 REM padding on top and bottom. But then with the container selected, I'm gonna call this tutorial container. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in some text. So I'm gonna drop in a quick heading. I'm gonna call this tutorial heading. And then I'm going to align this text to the center. Now, once that is done, click on the section element and then over in the style panel, we're gonna scroll down. And under backgrounds, we're gonna add an image. So click on the plus icon, click on choose image, choose the image you want and then in the image settings, we're going to position it to the center and then we're going to set the size to cover. Now from here, I am going to change the text color to white and it can make the text might be a little bit hard to read. So with the section selected, I'm going to go down to where we have the image. I'm going to click the plus icon to add another background, but instead of an image, I'm going to select this last option and that is a color overlay. Right now, it will automatically have 50% black and I think that's fine, but I'm going to slightly decrease the opacity to about 30% and there we can still see the image, but the text is a little bit easier to read. So that is the first, um, so that is the first layout, the header section. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add another section underneath. I'm going to name this tutorial section two. And then within that, I'm gonna drop in a container and I'm gonna add some more padding on this section. 10 REMs, top and bottom, uh, let's do five. So I have that set up. Now within this container, we want to drop in a div. This is where we're actually gonna be starting to build the second layout, which is this layout right here. Now I'm gonna give this div a name, image wrapper. Within this div, you want to then drop in two elements. You want to drop in an image element, and then you want to, to drop in a text block or a text element. With the image selected, I'm just going to name it tutorial image, and then I'm going to name the text tutorial text. You can name these anything you want. This The naming doesn't matter here. Now with the image selected, I'm going to quick choose an image. I'm going to choose the same image as before. And by default, if this is a pretty large image, it is going to stretch the whole width of the container that it's inside of. So I'm going to, I want it to be a little bit smaller. So with the image wrapper selected, I'm just going to do a width of 40 REM. And you can see it is aligned to the left. All I'm going to do is click on the container do flex, and I'm gonna justify it to the center. So now with this all set up, we want to click on or select the image wrapper, and we want to set it to position of relative. One is, once that is done, that's a very important step. We want to then click on the tutorial text and set that position to absolute. Now you can see once we clicked on absolute, we have these options that showed up down below. 
if we want to position the text in the center, we don't want to select any of these options. Just leave them as is. And then we want to go back up to the image wrapper and we want to go to display and click on the second option, flex. With that selected, we want to line the text to the center and then we want to justify it to the center. Now it's a little hard to read since the text is um, camouflaged into the image. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to make it a little bit easier to read by adding a color and making it a little bit bigger and then aligning it to the center. There we go. And if you want to, you can set a max width to the text. So I'm going to do 10 REM. That's a little small. There we go. So now we have successfully aligned the text to the center of the image. If you want to add an overlay to this image, similar to what we did with the header section, what we're going to do is we are going to, with the image wrapper selected, drop in another div and we will call this image overlay with this selected we want to set the width to 100% height 100% and then we go down to position click on absolute and now it is covering the entire image what we want to do is we want to go down to backgrounds and under color we want to add a background color so I'm just gonna make it black and then I'm gonna do opacity of 30% and you can see this is covering the text and the image we only want it to cover the image and we want the text to be on top all we have to do is with the text selected we want to go to our position settings right here and we want to set a Z index our image element our image overlay has no Z index applied so if I do a Z index of the text and I set it to 1 it will nicely come on top of the text I mean on top of the image overlay however with the image overlay selected if I were to do a Z index of 2 it would now go back over the text so the higher the Z index the more it's going to cover other elements with lower Z indexes or none at all so we just learned how to do the second option. We're going to finish the video by showing you how to do the third option. So going back to Webflow, we can actually keep this layout and turn it into the third option. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to decrease the size of this text a little bit. And I'm going to copy and paste this text right here. So say we have an image and we're going to credit the photographer in the bottom left corner. So I have that text there. With the text element selected, it's very simple. All you have to do is select your position that you want underneath the absolute positioning. So I'm going to select the bottom left and boom, there we go. It is in the bottom left. Now it does look a little bit odd because it's up against the sides of the image. So all we have to do is where it says 0%, we can just increase the percentage and it will increase the padding that easy. Now by default is set to percentages, but you can actually do different uh, values like REMs or pixels, and it'll do the exact same thing. It will give you nice little bits of padding. So that is how you overlay text onto images in Webflow. Let me know it down in the comments if it was helpful, and if you're struggling with anything, just put your questions in the comments and we'll try our best to help you. And if you're new to Webflow or your company is migrating over to Webflow for the first time, Check out the description for this free report where we share the top five mistakes startups and companies tend to make on their Webflow website and how you can avoid them so that you save a lot of time and frustration.